Well, long before becoming the Queen of Kale, Nisia Gates says her claim to fame was an aspiring musician in Detroit who even appeared on the soundtrack from the Whitney Houston movie Waiting to Exhale. These days, however, she's singing a different tune. A self-proclaimed serial entrepreneur, Nisia is passionate about providing healthier options for both kids and adults. <music> I was searching for healthy snack options besides peanut butter and, and potato chips and, you know, crunchy, salty, and I came up with kale chips. As a Georgia-grown member and proud supporter of farm-to-table programs, Nisia Gates is spreading her message. Better yet, messages. Philosophical, yet straight and to the point. And it all began in her kitchen as a way of looking out for her family's best interest. I got a dehydrator and a blender and I started playing around with different recipes and they were a hit amongst my family, amongst friends. And this was maybe three years ago. And me and my entrepreneurial self, you know, thought, well, maybe I could be making some money doing this. And so with no pricing plan, Nisia set out with kale chips in hand, hitting all the local stores. And just like that, it happened. I got an order on the spot. So I think that was an indication that, okay, maybe you can make this into a business. And I took it from there, got into a commercial spot, like a shared kitchen, so that the costs were low. And I was able to produce um, and, and service stores and, and be legitimate in Georgia because you can't do it from home. So the shared kitchen was the best way for me to do it. And after a year, we got Whole Foods um, in Kroger, and then I moved into my own spot, and wow. I'm expanding now. As for why she chose kale as her superfood of choice, Nisia tells me in addition to being rich in vitamins and minerals, it also dehydrates very well and when flavored, has that crunchy snack-like texture so many people crave. And that includes little people, school kids to be exact, another area where the queen of kale is in the process of making her mark. I'm super excited about that. Um, I'm not sure which flavors they're going to go for, but um, Georgia is trying to, again, with the locals, so it's a benefit. They are trying to make, the, the school districts are trying to make 20% of the, the, the kids' meals provided from a local company, whether it's breakfast, whether it's lunch. And so they're looking for local companies like myself to provide healthy options for these kids so that they're you know, not eating the way they've been eating for all these years. Um, so I did my first trade show for the schools about a month ago and the feedback was incredible. The ultimate goal for my company would be to really, um, I want to do it all. I mean, I want to I want to be on the shelves as an everyday name, brand name with Queen of Kale with my snacks, of course, um, across the country, maybe internationally too. Um, and I want to have, I want to share my food. So um, this takeout spot is a start to something bigger that I see. Um, fresh, fast foods. And for more information on the Queen of Kale brand or information on how to place an order, just log on to the address you see there on your screen. That is www.queenofkale.net.